Expensive things are usually expensive for a reason. And what I've got right here is the world's most expensive cup of coffee. But what's really interesting is how it's made. When I came to Bali, everywhere I went, every restaurant, every coffee shop, every grocery store was selling this coffee called Kopi Luwak. You got to try it! It's, it's a, a once in a lifetime experience! experience. It's delicious! And because I love coffee, I'm going to figure out what all the fuss is about. So I went to a coffee shop and ordered one. One Kopi Luwak, please. I wanted to find out why some people would pay up to 80 bucks for a cup. Because when I saw it, it just looked like a boring cup of black coffee. This better be good. Me? Just the poop coffee. Did she just say poop? What do you mean poop coffee? Okay, check this out. Apparently, it's made from animal poo, and it became popular right after the Bucket List movie came out. You're shitting me. Now that I crossed that off my bucket list, I was curious how in the world do they make coffee out of poop? Arabica coffee is found all over the world. But here in Indonesia, not only do they grow the coffee, there's also a breed of wild tree cat called the civet, which the locals call luwak. The civets eat the coffee cherries where the beans ferment inside their stomach. Later, they are pooped out and then the villagers collect the poop with the beans inside. They are cleaned, separated, roasted, and ground to be enjoyed by coffee enthusiasts all over the world. Because the civets aren't found everywhere and the process is so time consuming, the costs are high. People are willing to pay to say that they've tried this exotic product. Here's the thing. There's a problem with this coffee and it has nothing to do with the fact that it's made from poop. Until a few years ago, only wild animals existed. But since it's become known around the world, that's not the case. Instead of being free in the jungle and their poop being collected by the locals tracing them, they're caught, locked up, put in cages and forced to endure poor conditions. Instead of eating a variety of fruit, insects, and reptiles, they are fed mostly coffee cherries so that they can produce more of the poop gold. And the most challenging part as a consumer is that there's no way to tell whether a bag of Kopi Luwak was made from wild or caged civets because there's no official certification system. If that wasn't enough, many say that the coffee's taste doesn't live up to the hype. Now, coffee businesses and tour groups are opening up everywhere because this poop coffee has become an expensive trend built up on the hype. The thing is, this is bigger than coffee. When we find out something is expensive, we assume it's better just because it costs more. And while expensive things aren't bad, I think we should always investigate it for ourselves. As for me, I think I'll stick with my usual boring cup of coffee. Black, please. <laughs>